So as we've been seeing there, one of the industries hardest hit by coronavirus is tourism. Borders obviously closed and people uh, not going on holiday. In many places, restrictions are now being eased, but some are calling for restraint, as the BBC's Tim Ullman explains. Venice is not open for business. At least, that's the message these Venetians want you to hear. A human chain and a giant banner stretched out over one of the city's famous canals. The people here calling for responsible tourism, an end to the mass invasion that comes every summer. Visitors are already returning. The famous Doge's Palace has reopened its doors. But locals are calling for quality, not necessarily quantity. We hope to have in the future slow tourism. Slow tourism. This is very important. It means no less tourism, but better, good organization. This is the first thing. Around 30 million people visit Venice each year, a city with a native population of a little more than 50,000. Many only come for the day, bringing little income to the local economy. And residents say many neighbourhoods are being ruined by landlords who turn rental properties into holiday lets, pricing out those who live here. Then there's the cruise ships. Larger vessels were banned from parts of the city after this crash last summer. Their absence and then the lockdown has meant cleaner waterways, a cleaner Venice. But that's the dilemma. These people need tourism, but they don't want too much. Are they protesting against the one thing that will get Venice back on its feet? Tim Ullman, BBC News.